Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and today we are out on the Timber Bridge project. A little bit of off and on rain today. You can see the creek's flowing just a little bit down below us. So the goals today, or the goals for this video, I got a couple half days coming up. I'm gonna try to get the rest of these plank boards milled up and installed across there. And then the running boards will go on top of that where the tires will go for the side-by-side -side tractor. I'll try to get those running boards milled up as well. It is a rather ambitious goal, given the weather forecast, but I think we can get it done. A couple things real quick. The microphone issue, I'm having some microphone issues, so I'm back on just GoPro audio for this video. But the part that should fix it should be in probably halfway through this video, so maybe the microphone or the, the audio quality will pick up halfway through. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if not this video, the next one. And I still haven't picked up a new drill to finish. See that bolt right there? I haven't picked up the new drill yet to finish bolting this part off. If you remember in the previous video, I have a little cordless DeWalt drill. It's, uh, we burn it up trying to get bored through there, augered through there so we can finish bolting it up. So we're not doing that this video either. The main goal is the planks and the running boards. That being said, let's head up to the bandsaw mill and uh, we'll show you what we're thinking.
Watch them tops. You gotta watch them tops. Bad. I'm just fine. Excuse me. Anything decent in there? Oh, there's a little bit. There's a little bit. <clears throat> So it has been raining for about, well, two days straight now. Which means I haven't really had a chance to get out in the woods and cut any more trees down. We need 21 feet of deck. We're running at 14 foot worth of deck right now. So uh, some decent math would tell you we need about seven more feet of deck. I don't really feel like getting out in the rain and cutting anything. I don't think uh, a hobby project like a timber bridge in the wood, woods is worth the slip, trip, or fall when using a chainsaw out in the rain. But I gotta get something done. I gotta get the house to do something. So I'm gonna run around in the side by side and we'll see if we can't find the last few trees we need for the bridge decking. And Chelsea also mentioned that there's a tree, a small tree that blew down on one of the trails and she couldn't get through the trail one of the trails the other day. So I figure we'll go out and uh, we'll go out and check that out real quick. And no, I don't wear hats very often, but it is raining. So it's just kind of a common sense thing. By the way, got the microphone fixed. The microphone was not the problem. It was actually the GoPro adapter that the microphone plugs into that was a problem. I was able to do some troubleshooting and uh, figure that out. So hopefully the audio is back to good again. We're gonna take the Ryobi out, the cordless. People always ask if you can use it in the rain. I honestly don't know, but we're fixing to find out. in there. It's kind of crooked. 
she'll work though. We got two right here. Between the two of them, should be enough for the decking. I'm trying to hit this hole right here. I don't want to break too much of those canopies out, but if we do, we do. YouTube yacht right there for reference. And uh, she's got the lean for that hole anyway. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Too bad, that'll be fine. Somebody's probably asking why I'm not using the log arch or the log winch right now. I made that for longer trips. This isn't really a long trip. The barn is right there. You can see it through the trees. We're just gonna go ahead and come to lake here, shuttle them that way. <laughs> definitely slowed us down some and yes I lost the microphone again I'm just you can't trust me with nice things anyway got some boards on the side by side we're not gonna have enough time to get the whole thing decked by the end of this video but I brought all the tools down and we're gonna put a few boards down and just kind of show you the process and what we're thinking good news is after this video I uh, do a, a quick job for dirt perfect and then after that, the next two videos after that, we'll be getting this thing. I mean, pretty much all finished up. All the decking on here, the running boards on here, starting to string the cables, that kind of thing. So we got a lot of timber bridge footage coming up. But enough rambling. Let me just kind of show you how we're going to do this. I'm going to start on this side. No, I'm going to start on that side. and burnt that side because it's pretty much ready to go as far as how the the log planes across there but this one's going to take a little bit of work we're not going to run it all the way down we're just tying a string to it like i said i did get some new cordless tools the xr version of the dewalt impact and the drill as well the half inch drill if you remember our last video i burnt my drill up Trying to auger through these bolts right here. We augered those bolts there and I burnt my drill up. 
I am going to save them though. They should be able to be rebuilt. Uh, if you remember, I used to work for a kitchen and bath remodel company years ago at a high school for like a summer job, vacation job kind of thing. And uh, one of the things I did in the winter times, I'd rebuild his cordless tools for him. So turns out that was a pretty valuable lesson. It'll save me a little bit of money. Now I'll have two sets. There's one spot right there in the middle that I'm worried about the most. See it? I can measure down and we can kind of clean off as we go and make sure we're somewhat level across there. At least somewhat planing across there. I don't want a big hump in the middle. That's what I'm getting at. Like I said, there's a little bit of a hump in this one log. I thought it was gonna be kind of a pain in the butt to get it out, but honestly, it wasn't bad. I used a skill saw, made a few marks, made a few cuts, used the adds at first. Thought that would be the way to go, but ended up going over the hatchet, which seemed to be quite a bit quicker and leave a little bit smoother finish as well. Then we got the propane torch out, got everything cleaned off and burnt up and ready to start putting the planks down in this section. Pay attention to those chainsaw marks. I'm gonna talk about those here in just a little bit. Then measured across. I didn't make them super tight. There's about an inch gap on each side of these plank boards when I put them down. I wanted to leave just a little bit of space in there. Brought them down on the side by side and then used the DeWalt 20 volt circular saw. Squared off one end, measured to the length that I wanted, cut off the other end. You guys know how it works cutting boards. I don't have to explain that to you. I don't know why, but this part here was just so satisfying finally been able to sit on one of the deck boards on the bridge. That was a good moment. So I picked up this roofing tar, 30 bucks for a five gallon bucket. Now remember those chainsaw marks I was talking about earlier. Once you put the deck planks on there, it's not gonna be exposed to wind or sun or air anymore. And those little chainsaw marks are gonna be a great place for moisture to hide out and accelerate the rot of these timbers. So I figured 30 bucks worth of roofing tar might be some good insurance to kind of get everything filled in and sealed up real well there. That's what we're going to use for protection on the top side of those logs. You saw I also put it on the bottom side of these plank boards as well, and the ends of them. I bought a drill bit to pre-drill for these 8-inch screws. I tried it without that last time, and it didn't really work very well. Even with the drill bit, we're still running it in and out quite a bit, but definitely a lot quicker this way. I'm running those screws towards the outside of the board for a very specific reason. Once the deck planks are on, we'll be putting running boards running the entire length of the bridge as well. I'll kind of throw a scrap up here in just a second to give you a little bit of visual idea of what I'm talking about. But I'm trying to leave room for those running boards because we'll be running screws down through the running boards, through the deck planks, and into the log as well. I did about a three quarter inch space between these deck planks, by the way. So this is what we've got done with the time that I had. The rain really did slow us down quite a bit. And that's the, that's the running board I'm talking about. It'll run the full length of the bridge. And that's why I had the screws so far over. The rain did slow us down, but the good news is, so we have a video coming up working for Dirt Perfect, and then after that, I have three more days that I can devote entirely to this bridge. So I'm hoping one more video for Dirt Perfect, and then two more videos working on this bridge, and we will have it done. That's my hope. That's my plan. I really, truly hope that's how it works out. By the way, in the next video, working for Dirt Perfect, at the end of that video, there's some big things announced for the channel. We're starting a new project and an awesome update on the pond. So hopefully you guys check that out. I hope you're enjoying the channel. I hope you're enjoying everything we're doing. I hope you're having a great whatever it is you're doing today. As always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.